Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am teaming up with one of my favorite people here on YouTube, Jessica from The Waldock Way, and we are bringing you our 2022 educational gift guide for Christmas. So this is no surprise to most of you, I'm sure. You guys know that Jessica and I both love to share educational toy gift guides as we get closer to Christmas. And this year I'm doing things a little differently. I try to kind of pick a theme each year, like last year I believe was everything $50 and under. And I don't remember what the theme was the year before, or like women owned businesses, I think the year before that. Um, this year I am, instead of going my typical like STEM, science, technology, engineering type of toys and games and card games and things, this year I'm, I chose all items that inspire literacy, curiosity, or wonder, and um, kind of continue to give throughout the year uh, versus just being like a toy that could break. Does that make sense? So things that continue to inspire or that children can continue to work through or work on as we move past the holiday season. And I also tried to find gift ideas that were a little bit more unique so that you can be sure either most kids wouldn't have this already or own it or um, they aren't receiving it from another, say, grandparent or friend. So that is my... Um, kind of my criteria for choosing the items that I chose today. My kids are right outside of my bedroom, so I'm having to film this in my room. So I'll knock a couple of things out right away. I, when I, whenever I film in my room, I, this bedspread is a gift from way back when, so I don't know where this is from. And the color of our wall, I will link in the description box down below or pin it in a comment because uh, and every time I film on my living, living room couch, I get the same question, the color of the wall. Um, so I will link it down below because it's like always one of the top questions whenever I show our green wall. Anyway, okay, let's get started. Here is my 2022 educational gift guide, gifts that inspire literacy, creativity, or wonder. Today's video is in partnership with Love Every. Love Every play kits help you make the most of playtime by taking out the guesswork so you can spend less time researching and more time connecting with your child. Their experts link brain science and Montessori to the way that you play. Love Every delivers the right toys at the right time so you can support your child's learning through important developmental windows with play essentials that are tailored to their exact stage and play essentials that are child safe and sustainable. So the most recent play kit that Josephine received was the sensor play kit and this came with a parts of me book an organic cotton rainbow ball play socks a magic tissue box which was just so sweet she could pull the tissues out and put them back in and with that came the magic tissues themselves a tummy time wobbler which was really sweet for her for tummy time and her favorite was the spinning rainbow and this is out in our house every single morning it's the first toy that I give her every morning she absolutely loves hitting it and watching the colors spin around so Love Every has play kits that go from zero to 48 months. If you are interested in trying out one of their play kits, I will put the information in the description box down below. So the first thing is really more of like a me thing than it, my kids thing. Uh, we got a butterfly garden kit uh, a while back and we did the whole little thing where you mail off for the caterpillars and we got them but then we got milkweed and we started doing monarchs and we have a lot of mon we can do monarchs all year round we live in Florida um, and that has been amazing one of our favorite things that we've ever done in our homeschool this year we released so many too many to count well over 50 probably closer to a hundred monarchs since the spring and this little butterfly net has just been the neatest thing for the kids to watch. And then we gifted one to my brother as well, I believe. Um, or maybe my mom sent one to him. One of us did. And, you know, when you send, when you get a kit like this, it comes with a code, a coupon code to then enter it in and get the caterpillars mailed to you. Um, so say you give this in December and then it won't be warm enough to use it until like March where they live, they can hold on to that coupon code and uh, enter it in later. So that is a really neat gift and it definitely has aided our nature studies and just really been a fun activity for our family. We constantly have butterflies going and then as the um, caterpillars get really big, 
we put them in our butterfly garden and we uh, watch them uh, turn into a um, chrysalis and do the whole thing. So that is my first gift idea. Next I have this. This is for me. <laughs> this is not for my kids, but um, I think it would be a really neat gift idea. So I got an embroidery kit. We're going on a big trip and I didn't have any books I really necessarily wanted to read. I'm listening to some audiobooks right now. So I thought I would bring an embroidery kit and learn how to embroider. I went to the Simply Charlotte Mason retreat this year and embroidery was the handcraft that was taught. But I went with a six week old and it was during like her witching hour. So I sat in the class, but I never actually got to try my hand at it. And I've been wanting to ever since then. So I got this introductory book on embroidery and it comes with everything you need and a couple of very simple projects where you're learning the different stitches. Let me see if I can find. So this is what you make with this kit. And then there are some other embroidery kits online where you make, um, you know, you learn how to do like little flowers or letters and things like that. So there are a couple of different really cool kits and I will link them both down below. I considered actually gifting this to my teenage daughter and then I decided I was going to have it for myself. But I think a lot of, uh, you know, teens would really enjoy that. Next, I have something that's actually a gift for my son. This is a board game kit. This, um, is one of his four under the tree gifts and it's just a blank board game blank box and accessories the deluxe set came with a couple more things than the regular set came with uh, I believe it's like these little pieces the little stand-up character pieces versus just um, the little plastic pieces as well as a spinner I think um, so everything's blank in here and he just creates his own board game and I think that that would be a really neat gift to give to someone especially if they're like in a sibling group that they could all make their own board games and play those throughout the year. It's just a really cool gift and even if they were to receive more than one of them they can make more than one board game. So that's another really neat gift idea. Next this is one of my favorite finds this year. Um, Amber from Heritage Mom blog. Uh, she ha shared that her daughter was gifted this and I immediately grabbed it from my daughter because I do the shopping for my father-in-law who uh, gives toward their big Christmas trip or big group gift each year but also wants one like $25 gift under his tree for them for Christmas and so this is called the ultimate reading challenge with 25 rewards including bookmarks note cards book plates coasters and more i actually grabbed one of these for one of my daughter's little best friends to gift to her as well and i really think i'm gonna keep a few of these on hand for all of her little teenage girlfriends to give them this year for their birthdays it is the coolest thing so it's basically almost kind of like an advent calendar in a sense a bunch of little mini envelopes here and as you complete each different reading challenge, there's a little goodie inside. So attend an author event in person or virtually. And then when they complete that, they get this really cute book washi tape. When they <clears throat> write a letter to someone who influenced their reading life, they get, oh, that one's taped down. There's a couple that aren't taped down. Make or order a snack or meal described in a book that you've read. And for doing that, they receive a little stamp so it's just the cutest stuff there's read a book published this year read a book in a genre you've never read before uh reread a classic you hated in high school maybe i'll get this for myself uh let's see a graphic novel listen to a reading themed podcast read a book about a person with a disability read a book based purely on its cover design so that is a really cool gift and I am very excited about that and I'm very thankful that Amber shared about it. If you don't follow her online, she's just full of challenging thoughts and great ideas and just inspirational um, homeschool mom content. So next I have, okay, so while we're kind of on the topic of books, I have these books which I showed in my stocking stuffer guide. The my year books. So we've got my year of art, my year around the world. There's also my year of nature, my year of writing, and my year of discovery. So the discovery one is like a STEM themed one. Nature is a year of nature study type of prompts. 
My year of art has 365 different art ideas, little tiny journaling prompts for each day of the year. And then same with my year around the world, be creative every day. So they're just 365 different prompts, which I think are fun. I also have one more like book style thing I wanted to recommend. Where? Oh, here. So uh, write your own scripts, write your own poems, write your own comics. These Osborne books are really neat. So I especially love the write your own poems books. Um, these are books that we use in our own personal poetry tea time just to have the kids create their own poetry. So there's just some getting started pages. What do poems look and sound like? And they're just colorful pages to help write different style of poems, haikus, sonnets, the sh uh, poems in a shape. Uh, there's uh, Triolet, Invent Your Own Form, uh, What Am I? Ask, Argue, Command, Imaginary Readers, The Luck of the Draw, What Are Poems About, and then Who Are You? So there's just some really neat poem writing prompts, self-portraits, um, animal, vegetable, mineral, the great outdoors. It's just an amazing book. I, this is Annabeth's. I, we, she's not using it now, but I thought she might want her own. So then there's also Write Your Own Scripts, which follows a similar layout, just all sorts of different. They also have the creative writing book. Um, and then, like I said, write your own comics, write your own scripts. So these are really neat books to gift, especially to a creative writer or somebody who needs a little boost in their creative writing. Next are these stamp kits, which my kids got in their Easter basket. So if you followed that video, then you already know about these. But these are just like stamp bugs, little different shapes to create little stamp bugs. And it also came with, oh, here it is. It also came with an ink pad, although we grabbed an extra set of ink pads in all sorts of different colors because my kids uh, wanted more than just the two-tone ink pad. There are C stamps that I got for another child, and then there's Stamp Garden. So anytime my kids write a letter or a thank you note, they can just add a little bit of creative uh, flair to it, or sometimes they just sit down and stamp out some different shapes. Next. We'll go with this, this cardboard construction kit. I may have shared this with you guys already a couple of years ago, but it's a fun one and I wanted to kind of revisit it because I'm sharing some things really more for older kids. So I wanted to share a couple of younger kid items. So um, this cardboard construction kit is just a bunch of tools that you can use to work with cardboard. So like this little knife and then this screwdriver and then all sorts of different cardboard screws and then they can use these to create different things out of cardboard and that's a really neat gift or stocking stuffer idea. Next, <laughs> this is not really easy to contain here and I know there was like a little, a little friend that went with this. Let me see if I can, there it is, okay. My daughter has this needle felting kit that I got her a couple years ago for Christmas and then since then she's added more wool felt to it and so it's not fitting in the box but the kit came with this little um, you know pad that she creates it on and then the needle that's needed and so she just quickly whipped this up for me to show in the video this little like penguin which is adorable, but she did say I need to wash it. So like you wash it and then it gets a little tighter. Um, but she just did this real quick so I can make this video. That is a gift that has kept on giving. She makes little buddies for people all the time. She spends her time doing that while she's listening to audiobooks. That's a really sweet thing. And then all she needs to do is order more wool whenever she wants to refill her little kit. Here's another one that my daughter recommended. I asked her, hey, like, what would be great educational gifts? She's 13 and she said, oh, my Mariah Elizabeth book. So Mariah Elizabeth is a YouTuber who is like crafty and creative and it's really cute stuff that she makes. And so she has this create this book, which came as a blank book. And then it's just got kind of similar to the like writing prompt books that I shared you there with you. There's just a bunch of different like uh, art prompts. So fold this page however you would like and then create see she told me I was free to share anything create a pocket um, there's let's see create a record of your week what did you wear what did you eat what's the best part of your day um, let's see what else is there in here 
There is uh, create a fancy name, write your name in a fancy way, create a playlist, create an adventure, document your adventure, create a paint by number, create an outfit, create an interview, create a person, create drawing variation. So if you have a little crafty friend in your house, this would be a great uh, gift idea for them. Again, this could also be a good stocking stuffer idea. Um, next I have a good old beeswax candle kit. So you can get beeswax candle kits that are all one color or you can like a neutral tone or you can get the colorful pieces of paper. What we have is a regular one and then a colorful set. And so we can use the colorful ones to add detail. My kids actually made this in their co-op at their craft time recently and they had a lot of fun, uh, really building it out and creating a really big colorful candle this is my i think this one is my five-year-olds um but these are fun candle kits because they can use these to make gifts you can use them to add to flair to your dining room table or your school table and every time that one melts down you can create a new one and you don't use any hot wax you just take these little sheets of beeswax and you they're um naturally just you know they form together and so you just roll them up and then you can kind of squish other pieces on and then it's cute my kids really enjoy beeswax candle kits it was one of the things on annie's christmas list this year next pocket microscope i know this is one that breaks my rules because i've also shared this in the past these are so great and they're like ten dollars or less typically online you can put something here under the microscope to look at it or you can just put this directly up against like a tree or a leaf uh, we actually looked at snowflakes with this when we were skiing last winter and this like I said, it's in my purse, so it comes with me everywhere. Um, the other day, one of my kids was like looking at an egg or something. And I was like, put that away. You don't know where that's been. <laughs> like, you can't eat the egg after you touch that on there because it, you know, just was touching a tree or something. So uh, it's got some, you know, you can zoom in, you can focus, and then it has a light on it um, as well. While we're kind of talking outdoors, I will share one that I know I shared years and years ago, but hasn't made an appearance again until recently because it's been rediscovered by another one of my children, but that is this rock tumbler. So we first bought this National Geographic rock tumbler and we just used all the rocks that came with it. And then last summer we did some gem mining. They used it for those um, rocks that they got in the gem mining. And then now I have a kid who just wants to tumble any rock and we're always buying all of the grit to put in there. Um, but this is a fun, it's just a little hobby tumbler. I believe this was around $50 and this goes on sale every now and then. But it's really cool what they can create when they get those rocks that come the typically these kits come with some jewelry pieces that they can create jewelry out of the rocks or they can just keep really neat stones um, on their nature shelves. So if you have kids who always have a pocket full of rocks or if you as a mom have a bag full of rocks all the time, consider tumbling them and seeing what kind of cool um, uh, just different designs are in those rocks that they're finding and uh, you know something that they can then turn into some really neat pieces to also gift back next i have this children's world cookbook this is a gift that i typically keep quite a bit in stock of i just order these from usborne and i gift these a lot to like the 7 to 11 year old crowd um and it's so cute. We gave this to one of my kid's friends who lives down the road and her mom for weeks texted me all the different little creations that she made. So this is the Usborne Children's World Cookbook and this just has dishes from different countries. So Canadian pancakes, uh, Latin America, they have um, tacos. Okay, oh, guacamole, refried beans, um, fruit, different types of fruit. The Caribbean has a mango mango full recipe banana bread it gives info on harvesting bananas sorry i'm looking at the book i'm not even showing it to you um so it's got some different recipes and then some different information about foods from those cultures and this is a really cool book to have around and to have on hand anytime that we're studying a different country or studying something in history uh, or just when my kids want to make something fun so this is a really neat gift option i would say around that like seven to eleven year old age range uh one for younger kids is this moonlight storybook projector this one annie loves it says ages one and up she loves it so 
so this you buy the starter kit and it comes with this little projector and then you can buy other kits that just have the little discs for it and then you download the app and you stick that projector on your phone and turn your flashlight on and then you go in the app and it kind of plays background music and you shift the pictures and it uh, displays the images from the book on the wall or on the ceiling if you're laying in bed with your child and then you can read the book in the app as they're looking at the picture so it's just a really fun bedtime style storybook and I have the Winnie the Pooh set and like the Chicka Chicka Boom Boom set and a couple of other of uh, the individual story discs but they have all sorts of really neat stories um, and then like I said you just buy one starter kit and then you can buy the little additional discs and I believe it's a small business that sells on Amazon. So when you're on Amazon looking for it, or you can go on their website, uh, it'll say like small business owned. Uh, I have a couple of other things that I don't think I have on hand to show you. So let me just go through my little list here. Um, okay, so two things uh, right off the bat that I see here. My mom got these kids, these growing kits. I'm gonna put some pictures up here of them using the kits. Obviously, we don't have them around still. These growing kits came in like a little egg carton and then they could create their little garden right in the egg carton. It came with everything they needed. They had a pizza kit, a sunflower kit. They have a salsa kit, a grow colors kit. This was really neat um, for my kids to start their little seedlings in the house and then we moved them outdoors that's a really cool gift because it teaches them how to grow all the ingredients say for salsa or pizza um, and then the next thing this is one that i gifted to my daughter a couple years ago and now we use their free um, art lessons online but the let's make art kits i actually gifted a subscription of this to my sister recently I asked her to send me a video so i'll put that video in here as well um and the Let's Make Art subscription comes with all of the watercolor paint and the templates and then the link for the videos that you need and any additional supplies to create four different watercolor projects per month. And the gift subscriptions you can do for three months at a time. Or you can get online in their sale bin online and just order the supplies for individual kits, which is a really cool idea. And okay, so I guess that's it. Um, other than just wanting to reiterate that Love Every is a really cool gift idea if you know kids who are like, five and under and you don't know what to get them the love every subscriptions or just the individual play kits are really great um and i've loved getting those for josephine so once again thank you so much love every for partnering with me on today's video i will put the info for that in the description box down below as i mentioned earlier in today's video if you guys haven't already had enough educational gift ideas i'm going to send you on over to my friend jessica's channel she's always Full of wonderful ideas. I also want to let you know that in the description box down below is a link to my Amazon store, which is where I share all those other STEM and games and board game ideas that we really enjoy in our house. Um, I keep those in my Amazon store if you kind of want to get a review of what some of my past gift guides held or just some of our favorite educational toys and gifts. So thank you guys for watching today. I will see you guys soon. Bye.